Hey guys, George here from Zero Peer Productions, and today we are starting the modded playthrough for the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Now that we've done modded playthroughs for both Morrowind and Skyrim, I thought it was time to take on Oblivion. I've only beaten Oblivion start to finish once before, and that was several years ago, so while I'll know what to expect to some degree, I'm sure some of the game will still feel new to me. For this playthrough, I wanted to add a few mods that would change and improve the game without completely overhauling it or make it feel like an entirely new game. At the end of the day, I still want it to feel like Oblivion. We of course have some quest mods as well, which will take us on new and exciting adventures. You can find a link to my mod list in the description below. Now, let's talk about our hero. Our story begins several months ago, on the Dren Plantation in Vardenfell. An Argonian named Ra Shen, born into slavery, was freed by a traveling adventurer. Ra Shen found passage to the mainland, and soon after crossed the border to Cyrodiil, hoping to eventually cross into Black Marsh once enough time had passed. House Dren hired bounty hunters to capture the escaped slave, and quickly caught up with him in the swamps of Blackwood. With both luck and determination, he was able to defend himself against the assailants, but was seen by an Imperial guard traveling by horseback. Rather than listen to the fugitive's tale, the guard brought him to the Imperial City prison. After months of isolation, Ra Shen has begun to lose faith. Little does he know the role he is about to play in the world. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era, and the final hours of my life. Hey, Lizard, it must break your heart, huh? Being so close to the water, knowing you'll never get to swim again. You know, sometimes, when they let us in the yard, you can hear the sounds from the lake. The boats, the gulls, so close. No, you'll never get to swim again, Argonian. But don't worry, you'll be dead soon enough. That's right, you're going to die in here. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. For me? <laughs> what did I do? I'm already in jail. Yes, sir. My sons, they're dead, aren't they? We don't know that, sire. The messenger only said they were attacked. No, they're dead. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. What? Usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. Oh, okay, okay. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. That is fair. You I understand. Prisoner, stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way. No Stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. Um. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And 
this is the day. Gods give me strength. It's a nice way to introduce yourself to someone that you've never met before. What's going on? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Who are you? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. I go my own way. So do we all. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? Please, sire, we must keep moving. Wait. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your this lucky day. This doesn't concern you, to prisoner. Stay out of our way. I could have just pushed that this whole time. I've been in here for months, and I... Well... Apparently, I didn't have enough free time on my hands that I didn't think to do that. It's alright that I just follow you guys, right? You said something about assassins? Stand aside, prisoner. Okay, okay, you said there's assassins back there. I don't want to stay in the prison cell. Not that there's any reason to attack me, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Close up left. Uh, Protect the Emperor. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Captain's down. Your captain died very quickly. You might need better guards. Protect yourself. I, I, I can't. Are you alright, sire? We're clear for now. Captain Reno? She's dead. Sorry, sire, but we have to keep moving. You don't mind if I just... How could they be waiting for us here? Loot her, right? Don't know, but it's too late to go back now. Don't worry, sir. We will get you out of here. Don't mind me. I realize this might be a little disrespectful to your friend, but... They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. All right, you got it. Ready your weapon. Press R to attack. Push it. Left button. Yep. I know the deal. Oh, oh. Your health is low and you're close to death. Um, no, I, I got bitten slightly by a rat. Not sure you know the meaning of the word low. Pretty sure I'm okay. Alright, let's take the arrows, take the armor, lockpicks, ooh, <laughs> quilted shoes. Don't mind if I do. Ah! Oh! Alright. So here's the thing. One of the mods that I added, and I'm so happy that I got it, is called Morrowind Lockpicking. It is a mod that replaces Oblivion's Lockpicking, because I hated that minigame, with Morrowind's Lockpicking, where you just have a chance to unlock and you gotta, like, shove your lockpick in there, you have to equip it. And apparently my luck is terrible. It's actually a little embarrassing right now. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, it worked. Ooh. That was getting a little embarrassing right there, not gonna lie. Let's put on some armor. And let's favorite the shield as well. Club, more lockpicks, and more torches. Because torches don't have a weight, so I might as well just take them in case my torches burn out. It's a little dark in here. 
I'm getting so many lockpicks already, Jesus. Oh, I just heard more mats. Now practice casting spells. To cast your selected spell, push C if you want to change your spells. Uh, push tab to bring up your journal again. You see, fighting rats, I'm fine. It's those, uh... It's those assassins that I'm a little worried about. I have how many lockpicks already? This is getting to be a little ridiculous. I already have 16. I've been here for about two seconds, and I have 16 lockpicks. I'm not going to complain, but <laughs> I'm, I'm stocked up on lockpicks for a while. The rat doesn't even care that I'm here. I've been attacking all these rats. Oh, 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 okay, now I know why the rats don't care that I'm here. Okay, that's why. Oh. That would do it. That would do it. Great, we got zombies, rats, assassins. I'm never gonna make it out of here alive. At least we have some heavy armor that we can equip. Alright, much better. Oh, oh! Okay, I heard combat music, I was concerned. Just more rats. More, just, just rats again. Well, the combat music will just kick in, and immediately, I'm like, oh, what's there? What could possibly be here to attack me? And it's just like, rats. Ah. And then two seconds later, the combat music ends. Uh, Iron Warhammer, pretty heavy, not gonna bother with it. I'm so glad that all this food is not spoiled. It's very convenient. Oh, did it just get, like, thrown down here recently? That might be why. The... The introduction to Oblivion never ceases to give me goosebumps. I don't know how many times I've seen just the intro cinematic with uh, Uriel Septim giving his speech, and it always, always gives me goosebumps. From his speech, to the music, to the shot of the Imperial City... Probably one of my favorite cutscenes or cinematics in any game ever. And it makes me want more cutscenes and cinematics in the next Elder Scrolls game. I get why they didn't do it with, um, with Skyrim. I think they wanted it to be the thing of... They didn't want cinematics because they thought that would kind of take you out of the moment, and they wanted the game to really just be focused on you, the player character, and what you saw. But I think that having just an introduction or a, um, or even some sort of cinematic to end of the game after you defeat Alduin and stuff like that would have been really, really... Nice. You can hotkey items. I know how to hotkey. I already did it. I'm ahead of the curve. Just taking everything, because why the hell not? Anybody here? But yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, 
I'm just thinking about the introduction to Skyrim, and... I feel like Skyrim could have still started with you in the cart, but it would have been cool to have sort of a cutscene before that where they just talk about what's happened between the events of the end of the Oblivion Crisis and the start of Skyrim, because suffice it to say, it's 200 years in between games. A lot has happened. Alright, we're just gonna sneak up on him. Hey, sneak increased. Oh, oh, oh. He almost turned around. That's right, just keep going. Keep going. Oh, that's right, you eat that rat. Oh, and he heard me say that. Roasted rat. Mmm. Delicious. Damage fatigue, I'm fine. I'm already close to being over encumbered too, so I have to make sure not to pick up too much else. You find a mortar and pestle, equip it to create potions or poisons from ingredients with like effects. Uh, your alchemy skill will make your creations more powerful. There we go. More torches, more lockpicks. And just like Morrowind, the lockpicks have... Um, just a longer duration. So they last for a while. They last a certain number of uses. I... Oh, damn it, I was hoping... I was hoping that trap would kill you. I didn't even jump. I didn't even hit space. I don't know why my character just bounced up in the air. Your magic is low and you may not be able to cast spells. Magic returns slowly on its own or you can increase it by drinking potions or sleeping. The blue bar at the bottom left displays your current magicka. Oh, did I just dodge? Oh, yeah, I can dodge. Oh, that's cool. That's going to be really useful. Like I mentioned, I'm trying not to use too many mods that just change everything, but I'm using enough mods to try and make the game feel a little fresh while still feeling like Oblivion. So stuff like Oblivion Reloaded, uh, Darnified UI, which really just makes everything feel a lot more crisp and clean on PC. Oh, there's goblins down there. And they're dead. Easy enough. Handful of quest mods, which I'm all very excited for. Or all of which I'm very excited for. Yeah, I should probably start ditching stuff because I'm gonna be over encumbered very, very soon. We can get rid of my prisoner clothes. Don't want to keep those. Should probably switch to the Rusty Iron Helmet, too. I'll get rid of the uh, quilted shoes. I don't need them. See, that already brings down my carry weight a little bit. There we go. Iron Arrow and Lockpicks. I've probably picked up enough arrows at this point. And I think I have two bows, so I can put one of them away. Yeah. Don't need two bows. Oh, here we go. Potions. That'll be good. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Goblin time. I also have the iron shield, which I could use instead of what I'm using right now. Because, let's see. Rough, rough leather shield. Two armor versus this, which is four. So, yeah, let's just hotkey that. And we're good to go. Oh, there's another goblin right down there. I don't think he sees me yet, so why not take this chance to try out a little bit of archery. 
Oh, right. Need to equip the arrows. Definitely have enough arrows for right now. Oh, that was a good hit. It's a sneak attack. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh. Okay, we're good. This is a pet rat down there? I mean, either a pet rat or saving him for food. Most likely the food. Sneak attack! Oh, he turned around as I said sneak attack. Or she did, because she's a witch. Ah. There we go. Hey, my restoration increased. Also, my strength went up. Yeah, I know that stuff like Oblivion Reloaded does change certain aspects of the leveling, so... We'll just be learning things as we go. I haven't done too, too much research. I did my basic research just in regards to knowing what mods I wanted to use, knowing what was considered the best of the best. But I also kind of wanted to learn as I go. Found a repair hammer. Do I need to repair anything? Let's see. Um. Okay. Weapons are still in decent shape for now. Armor is... Oh yeah, my armor's fine. Goblin Shaman Staff. It's worth 188, so yeah, we're taking that. I'm a prisoner. I have no money. I have no prospects in life. I need everything that I can get. Yeah, we'll just take all. We should find a defensible spot and protect the emperor until help arrives. Oh. Help, what makes you think help will get here before more than that? We need Here's to get the emperor out of it. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay up here and watch. I know it's not very honorable, but you know, train guards versus random prisoner. That was all of them. Let me take a look around. Have you seen the prisoner? What? Do you think he followed us? How could he? I know he did. Um. Damn it! It's that prisoner again. Hey, 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 Kill hey, hey! Him. He might be working with the assassins. Hey, calm down, calm down. No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. As you wish, sire. I am glad that they listened to him. Makes me feel a little better about all this. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. I'm not on good terms with the gods. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. We're gonna do the Lover. Use the Lover's Kiss power once a day to paralyze an opponent for 10 seconds at the cost of 120 points of fatigue. Yes. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today, the Lover shall sweeten your journey as you confront your fate. Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. 
their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. Where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. Okay, where am I going? You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. We're cool now? You may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and stick close. You got it. Tell me of the blades. We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. So what happened up there? Uriel Septim. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. So, I mean, that's pretty much just the same thing you said about yourself, the Blades. Stick close and let us do our job, and you'll be alright. <laughs> Did not mean to roll into you. Apologize about that. I'm just gonna close the door behind me. Don't mind me. I know they say carry the torch, but I figured I can also open and close doors for them. I want to make myself useful. Touch! The Emperor's in danger! Uh oh, uh oh. The Emperor's in danger! Oh, here they come. For the blades and the Emperor! See, I'm helping. Just robes. Just robes. And let me guess, just robes? Hey, no, potion. Good. This one's the Emperor's in danger. Oh, is that it? Okay. Oh, nope, never mind, never mind. I'm Oh, there's I didn't even see him back there. I didn't even see that guy. Are we just surrounded right now? Just every dark corner, there's another assassin. I'm terrified. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Am I in someone's way? No, okay. Just wanted to double check. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through with the sewers. The Emperor made a very convoluted way of getting out of here. You think in case of an emergency there might be an easier way out. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side! A trap! I told you. What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. Oh, uh oh. Did you hear something? I heard something. Oh, it was the gate opening. I got scared. I'm sorry. It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? I don't know. I don't see any good options here. They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. You got it. For you thought we'd go down easy? That's a wall. There you go. You found out where you're supposed to go. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion.
<laughs> Little anticlimactic when you think about it. I just stood there, dumbfounded. Oh god, I'm about to die. Oh my god, I almost died. Oh, I should have blocked. No. Talos saved us. We failed. I failed. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Uh, the Emperor gave it to me. Don't worry. He's gonna- he's just gonna accuse me like, You stole the amulet of kings off the Emperor the second he died? Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. Oh, phew. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? He said I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? He said there's another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. Uh, well, how do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. Great. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced scout. Am I right? That's a good question. You must now choose your class. The major skills of your class will start higher than your other skills. You will increase your level by raising these major skills. Yeah, it's different from Morrowind in the sense that Morrowind, your minor skills leveled you as well. It was your miscellaneous that didn't. So that's what I have to be careful about. Because he said he thinks I'm a scout. Scout is combat specialization... Speed and Endurance, Armor, Athletics, Alchemy, Block, Light Armor, Acrobatics, and Blade. I haven't been using Light Armor. Um, I mean, you can also make a custom class, but I will probably use one of these. Let me just look through and see what's going to work best for me. Alright, we're going to do Crusader. I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. After the sewers? Then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? <laughs> no, please explain more. He's just going to be like, all right, go to Wayne in Priory, please. Take it easy. You'll be fine. I know this is a lot to take in all at once. No one's more surprised than me that I'm sending an escaped prisoner off with the Amulet of Kings. But the Emperor trusted you for a reason, and I trust the Emperor. The Amulet of Kings must get to Joffrey at Wainan Priory. He'll know what to do with it. Joffrey should know how to find the heir the Emperor spoke of. The Amulet must reach Emperor Uriel's heir so a new Emperor can be crowned. What about you? What will you do? Yeah, why don't you follow me and help out? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. Damn it. Damn it, you noticed that, didn't you? I mean, I had it in my hand. So that would do it. That'll show me. Can I, um... Leave the Emperor in peace. I just wanted his sword. Like, why Why can't I take it? He doesn't need it. Oh, Jesus, my carry weight. I just noticed it's already up to 255. All right. Oh, my God. 
and I'm 48% of the way to level 2. Okay. My only concern is that choosing this, I might have chosen too many major skills that I'm actually going to be using. Yeah, actually, no, now that I think about it, this is probably a bad idea. Okay, well, yeah, no, now that I think about it, I really, I, I chose a class where I'm going to use all of these on a regular basis, and that's just going to be a bad idea. Because I'm just going to overlevel, and I'm going to level up way too quickly and get these skills up way too quickly. So, at the end of the sewers, we'll change our class, and I'll have to balance it out a little bit more. Just to make sure that I don't level up too quickly, because that would just be a problem. And I would make the game way too hard for myself. In some ways, I think I almost prefer uh, Morrowind's leveling system. An Earthing my runes razor. Oh, okay. Because I have all of the minor DLCs. So I'm just going to get all of these. Yep. Oh, boy. There you go. Horse armor. Is that all of them for now? Nope. Okay. Repairing the orrery. Uh-huh. Just stand here for two seconds because it's going to tell me to do something else. Yep. Deep score and hollow. What else, guys? Frostcrag Spire. <laughs> Dumbarrow Cove. Battlehorn Castle. Well, in case you were ever worried that we didn't have enough stuff to do during the playthrough, I can guarantee that we have plenty to do. I'm excited. I have not been this excited about a playthrough in a while. I've been looking forward to this ever since I decided that I was going to do an Oblivion modded playthrough after the Morrowind modded playthrough. Gate is sealed. Ooh, garlic. Actually, I'll take all. Don't mind me, I just want your garlic. rolled right into that rat. Acrobatics increased. Because <laughs> I just dodge rolled into a rat. What if I ran him over and I just squashed him? That would be great. <gasps> is that already the end of the sewers? <laughs> I think it is, yeah. Why is my shield not? Okay, there we go. Alright, edit class. We're going to do a custom class, and I am going to figure out the best way to do this. So give me one sec. Alright, strength and willpower. Let's do that. Okay, I think I found a little bit of a better balance for me. Alchemy, Armor, Blade, Heavy Armor, Illusion, Restoration, and Speechcraft. Because Illusion, I really won't be using too much. Same for Alchemy and Armor, I can kind of like make sure that I don't overlevel that. And it just means switching to Blunt instead of Bladed Weapons at times. And just keeping an eye on how much I level something like Speechcraft or Restoration, but I think this should be okay. Enter a name for your custom class. Adventurer? Yes. Ra Shen, the Adventurer. Alright. Strength and Willpower, Alchemy, Armor, Blade, Heavy Armor, Illusion, Restoration, and Speechcraft. Yes. And what is my carry weight at 
now. Progress to the next level is now zero. Okay. That's fine. 230. That's fine. Yep. We're good to go.